Hello, this is DC6, and it's time for another Let's Play! So, this is a game that probably not many people are familiar with, but probably know the series. So we have a kitty. Aww! Cute kitty! Looks like we're in Japan. And this is a Japanese game. So, no English, sorry. But... I'll try to explain it the best I can, I suppose. Please make your room light while you're playing the game. We have a little intro here, and... It's Goemon, the mystical ninja! In anime form. Alright, so, a little bit better than Dash Dash Dash, maybe, I don't know. Alright, so this game is Bokenji Dai Katsugeki Goemon! So let's start a new game. This game's pretty fun, it's a lot like the first, or the, not the first one, the Mystical Ninja game for the Nintendo 64, the one, what's it, Mystical Ninja starring Goemon? Kind of like that. But it includes some RPG elements like experience, leveling up, things like that. So this game was only released in Japan for the PlayStation 2. That's why there's no English. And looks like we have a boat coming towards land somewhere. On a stormy night. Very stormy night. Wow. That's heavy downpour. Oh no, it's Gilgamesh from Final Fantasy! Or maybe not. I actually don't really know who that is. I haven't played this game too far. About up to the first boss I've played. It's the guy who put Excalibur in. Whatever rocket is in, move. Actually, it kind of looks like Goro from Mortal Kombat with all those arms. Yeah. 
So something about a white tiger. We got some ninjas. What's the eye? Don't waste your time, I'll kill you! And he flies away. Back onto his boat. Is that a boat? Or is that just a... Huh. Look at him next time, you eye. White tiger. So we have the title screen again, yay. Oh no, the gate at Oedo Castle broke in the storm. So we can't get into the castle. Uh, that's Goemon's dad, I guess. And so we are Goemon as a little kid. So we have some controls, X jump, circle is to punch, square and triangle, I don't know. And we are at level 1 and we have 10... I guess there, it's Ryo in this game. And that's the typical currency of the Mystical Ninja games. So we are in Edo South Town. Hey, hey guy. So please talk to people. Okay, um... You know what, let's go visit our mom. It's probably in here. Hey mom, what's up? Uh, mom, give me some money or something. I want to go explore. I guess we can go explore Edo on our own. Uh, what's in this house? Nothing! Hooray! Alright, um, maybe let's go into town if I can find my way. Oh, and if you press X twice, you can double jump, which is pretty nice. Gate can't stop me. Hey, little girl. So... There's a cat in front of a store somewhere. Let's go check that out. Huh? A kitty cat! And it is dead. What happened to you, little kitty cat? You hungry? Hmm. What is good for cats? Onigiri, rice balls, fish, or dumplings? Hmm, probably a fish, right? Okay, let's go get a fish for the kitty cat. Need to find a fishmonger, or I mean a fish salesman. Hey lady, I just jumped into your garden. Okay, whatever. So, actually, before we get a fish, there was someone I want to see. I kind of forget where he is. Oops, not down there. Is it him? Yeah, I think so. He gives you a piece of wood, which is first weapon. So we go into our menu here, and items, I believe. Oops, wrong button, sorry. Item. So, these are our weapons. So we can go barehanded, or we can switch to this one. Let's see, did I equip it? There we go. Okay, so if you go in here, there's some monsters. These guys aren't too hard, but they give some pretty good experience for the start of the game. Ow. Maybe they are a little hard. <laughs> have to kind of be careful. Still kind of weak there, and okay, we can get some experience and money. It's a good idea while you're in Edo, South Town here, to kill these guys whenever you go into a house or anything, because they do get pretty good experience for the first part of the game. You can at least level up quite a bit. Ooh, and I got another weapon here. So let's equip that sword now. Yeah, enemies will drop a lot of swords and weapons and stuff like that, so... 
pretty good. Oops, uh, yeah, weapons, so... Yeah, this one has a strength of 5. This one, as you can see at the bottom there, it has a strength of 25, so... Yeah, we're a lot stronger now. These guys should go down pretty quickly now. Oh yeah, three hits. Nice. So I believe these guys drop coins and those little hexagonal things are experience, I believe. So, uh, as you can see at the bottom left part of the screen, the uh, there's a little orange thing flashing there. That means we can level up. So, we go in... Oops. Wrong button. <laughs> we go into abilities here. I think we can increase something. So, uh, first we have strength. Here we have, uh, I guess, skill. I'm not sure what that is right now. This is defense, this is spirit, and this is luck, I guess. So I'm going to increase my strength. Oh, I have uh, four upgrades, so I'm going to increase my strength three times and defense twice for now. Uh, yes, okay. There we go. Let's see, did I... Okay, good. Just making sure it increased... Alright, so now let's go find a fish for the kitty cat. Gotta feed our kitty cat. Well, it's not our kitty cat, but still. You know, gotta, gotta take care of the defenseless animals. So I believe this guy is selling fish, is he not? So let's just buy the cheapest fish we can find. So this one is one Ryo. There we go. Now let's go back to the kitty cat. Or we can talk to this guy, too. What's he selling? Uh, okay, so I guess they're not open yet. And over here, we have a wagon that's overturned. So we can't go across the bridge. Oh, no. Hey, kitty. You want a fishy? Is it good? Aw. You little guy. You gonna follow me around now? Oh no! Go away! <laughs> oh well, we can have a pet cat. That's good. Don't have anywhere to go? Well, you can follow me. Come on, let's go. Let's go show our mom. Hey mom, can I keep this cat I found? Please? He's so cute. He follows me around. Hey there, mom. Yeah, I was just sitting outside the store. You know. Yeah, he likes me. Yeah, I guess we should name him. Kotora. Very strong name there, Goemon. Yeah, he's got a collar on. Maybe he's somebody's cat. Okay, let's go ask the wise man what we should do. But first, let's go back to those monsters and kill them again! Get more experience. Because I think these guys give some of the most experience in the early game. It's always good to level up a bit. Ow. Damn it. Here we go, pick up some hexagonal experience. You guys only take three hits, which is good. And I should be able to level up again, nice. It's not gonna be this easy to level up all the time. Alright, there we go, so let's go into our menu and level up again. Uh, we get five more points, so I'm going to increase strength by... by three again, and then defense by two. We don't have any skills or spells right now, so... I wouldn't worry about that, I think. I'm not really sure. I haven't gotten too far in this game yet, so maybe I'm really depriving myself by not leveling up my spirit and stuff like that. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so the wise man... He lives up here. Somewhere. There he is. So what does the wise man have to say about our new kitty friend here? Find out next time on Let's Play... Boken Jidai...
Katsugeki Goemon? Is that what it's called? Uh, long name. Well, anyway, I will see you next time.